instrument for our weather station is a weather vane. Now this is to tell us in which direction the wind is blowing or which direction the wind is actually coming from. Now basically what it is, it's an arrow with a nice broad tail and a broad head so it catches the wind that can rotate freely around a central point. Now it's very simple, a piece of broom pole, little piece of wood with a hole drilled through it and a nail in the middle there and then these bits here obviously made from plastic. Now once you've built this and we'll talk about how to do that in just a second you need probably to get an adult to help you put it somewhere. Now I've only got a short piece of broom pole, the longer piece uh, that you can find the better uh, because this needs to go up nice and high so that it can get into the stream of air without being affected by turbulence from buildings around it. So there we go, that's a wind vane or weather vane uh, and now we'll see how you build it. Right, so this one's going to involve a few more tools and possibly a bit more adult assistance if you need it. Um, so what we've got here, we've got an electric drill, we've got a junior hacksaw, we've got a pair of scissors, a hammer and a hot glue gun. Now that's what we need in terms of tools. In terms of materials, we don't need that much really. A nail, a piece of broom pole, we probably want a longer piece than this, it's just the piece that I had. I've got a piece of wood here. Now this type of wood is called jelly tong, and you can get this from craft supplies. It's like balsa wood, but stronger, uh, so it's easy to use. And this is about 30 centimeters long. Uh, and then I'm using here the lids off of two Chinese meal um, containers. You can use um, tin foil dishes and things like that. Anything that's gonna be okay to leave outside that's not gonna go all soggy or rusty or whatever. So plastic's ideal as is a thick kind of tin foil from, from a cake tin or a, a pie tin, that kind of thing. Okay, so the first step is really two steps. Um, the first thing you want to do is to take your piece of wood and to cut two slots, one in each end. They need to be uh, pointed the same way. Um, and you can do this two ways. You can do this first for yourself if you have a junior hacksaw. These are fairly um, safe to use. And you need a workbench. Kitchen table's not the best idea because uh, obviously if you slip you can make a cut in the table and you get into trouble. Uh, so a workbench is the best thing. Hold this firmly in position and then use the saw just gently to saw through the middle like that. And this slot needs to be about six centimeters long or something like that. And then do the same on the other end as well. So you've got a slot on the other end. So you can see uh, what I've done there on both ends. Now the next thing you need to do is to make the pointer and the vein the actual tail end of your weather vane. Now, I've marked these out on the lids of the Chinese meal containers. Now, <clears throat> this is about 11 centimeters from uh, tip to tip, and then about nine centimeters on these sides here. This, again, is about 11 centimeters here, six centimeters on the edge there, and then again about nine centimeters there. The exact dimensions don't really matter that much, as long as they're about that, it's, it's gonna work. So what we need to do now is use a good pair of scissors and just cut them out. Now once you cut out the back end and the front end of your weather vane, all you need to do is slide them into the slots that you've already cut in the wood. Now they'll be a fairly loose fit, so you're going to need to actually fix them in position. And to do that, the best thing is hot glue. Now again, you may need some kind of adult help with the hot glue. And also just to point out, it's worth just cutting that pointy bit off the end there, then it will stick into the slot better. So let's put our uh, bits in position with some hot glue. So be careful with the hot glue because obviously it is hot and it will burn you if it sticks to you, like that. Now, it's also worth mentioning that although I've used plastic for these, you can also use old uh, metal or thick tin foil pie tins. Um, you can cut them up. They tend to be a little bit sharper though, so you do have to be a bit careful with them. But you can use anything you like as long as it's not um, something that's going to be soggy or rusty in the rain because this is going to go outside. So let's put the tail end in like that, nice and straight. And we use our hot glue again 
Oops. Just to fix it in position. On both sides. Now I've got a piece of paper there to rest my hot glue on so it doesn't actually damage the table. So there's our actual completed weather vane. If you want, you can use a, a waterproof marker to give these a bit of colour so they're easier to see when this is actually outside. Now the next thing you need to do is find the point of balance. And the way to do that is use a pencil or you can use your finger or a pair of scissors or anything just uh, to prop underneath it like that and then just find the point where it balances. So mine is actually about there. And then you just need a pencil to mark that point because you're going to drill a hole through here so you can mount this on the piece of broom pole. So I'm gonna just mark mine with my fingernail, use a pencil, uh, and then we need to go and find a drill. Right, for the next part, you're going to need the nail that I mentioned at the beginning. Now, you need two drill bits. You need one which is slightly bigger than the nail is wide, and you need one which is slightly smaller than the nail is wide. Now, the reason for that is firstly, you use the bigger drill bit, and you're going to use that to drill a hole through the actual weather vane uh, to allow the nail to pass through, because the weather vane is going to swing around the nail, so it needs to be able to move freely. Now, again, you may need adult help with this because you need to hold the piece of wood and you just need to drill. Now, this wood is very soft, so it drills very easily, uh, but you do obviously need to be very careful because you've got a spinning drill bit there close to your hand. Now, once the hole's drilled, just check that your nail's going to go through nicely like that. That's fine. That'll move around there quite nicely. And the next thing you need is to change the drill bits. So you put the smaller one in. And then you put your broom pole. And again, very carefully, you drill a hole in the top. Like that. Now that is just to get your nail started. So the nail goes through the weather vane into the top like so. And then we have our hammer. And what we need to do then is just bang the nail in. mustn't um, bang it in too far because again we want this to be able to move smoothly around the nail. So there's your weather vane. 